clouds do something interesting. Notice how the North Poles are going in a circle this way and the South Poles are going in a circle that way. Uh, they're going, so I'm going to see the red for North Pole, so you're going to see blue for South Poles. Here we go. Ready? There it is. Okay. So the little left magnetic field toward you. Okay. Electrons flowing that way, magnetic field that way. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's another diaphragm down below, and I cut it. You can see the that tan color material. Now inside these uh, two white rings is magnet wire, slowly, and you'll see how the beam bends as I increase the magnetic field line. However, if they come in at an angle, we get a combination of the translation and circular motion, which is a spiral. More realistic pattern. And if you look carefully, you'll see that the lines of force are not going to the poles. They're all heading for the inner pole. Okay. I might zoom in a little for you to get a little better view. Let's do this. It's steel. And notice what happens to the scale. I have picked up the entire nine pounds. Now you can see that little gear there is connected. Watch how the lights light up. They just light up in sequence, one after the other. I'm going to do it one more time. There it is, the negative. So I keep moving the magnet relative and watch what the little motor does. Third bank, whoops, third bank, three amps. Okay, there's 28.65, we'll call that 29. What that means is, I can either, given a certain situation, certain size wire, if I increase the too bright, what are we getting? 3.3 volts, 2.6 amps. That's this one here, 500 feet of number 14 wire, 3.2 volts, 2.6 amps. Volts. Now I've measured what's going on here before, so that's about 90 volts are lighting these up. So we've got about a 10 to 1. You're watching a plasma go up two brass rods. Brass here is, we use a steel core. I would complete the core by placing, turn it on and off for me plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and the motor is spinning accordingly. So here is a uh, typical transformer. Now it's no five to seven cycles per second. The motor's not spinning, it's just vibrating back and forth. And the faster I go, electricity through this. Let's start with just direct current or something. So here's direct current. I just turn on the switch here. Now I can raise it to whatever speed I want it to go and it will go up to that speed, but it'll handle the in-between because it knows what the motor is. All right. So when I spin this, I'm creating a rotating magnetic field and look at how it pulls the aluminum around. 